Hi, I'm Katie Collier from Katie's Pizza and Pasta Osteria, and today we're gonna to be doing something that is super common around the holidays, but no one really does it that well. So we're doing a giant cheese, meat, vegetable charcuterie. This is the wow factor when people walk into your home for that event. And if you do it right, it can really impress everyone and it can be beautiful and it can be all you need for a party. The key to this is color, texture, variety, telling a story with different specialty ingredients. You've gotta be creative and you have to make it inspired and you have to really search out those special ingredients. So. What we're gonna do, we've got a ton of stuff back here, all from the restaurant. Tons of meats, tons of cheeses, some vegetables. It's gonna be just gorgeous. And then I'm gonna show you how to plate it, how to garnish it, and how to just like have fun with our cheese and meat board. Okay, so here we go. We'll just start with the cheese. So we've got a beautiful pecorino. It's a hard cheese. We'll just set that there. One of my favorite culinary quotes is space is an ingredient, so don't forget that. You wanna really pay attention to your negative space and your layers and your height when you're doing stuff like this. And then you're just gonna, let's see, we've got some ricotta salada there and just lay it kind of pretty rustic. We've got a hard Parmesan Reggiano, some Stracchino, which is like a very, very soft Northern Italian cheese, almost like a brie. Just put that right there. Okay, next we've got my favorite. I think everyone's, and they're so beautiful. Some beautiful figs, so just cut off the stem there. Slice in half so you can see. I'm just gonna place kind of balance everything. It's really an art form to make a beautiful platter. So think of it that way. And when you get your ingredients, some great places to get stuff are obviously Di Gregorio, AO and Company, which is Ben Peremba's market, down on Vandevender by his restaurants. Let's see, Balliards has amazing meats, Salume Badu, Parker's Table, so many local favorites. So. I think that's really pretty. So we've got our figs there. Let's do Calabrese Salsa Verde that we made at the restaurant. And we'll put that in a nice pretty white bowl here. And this is herbs, garlic, Calabrese peppers, a really good olive oil, salt, pepper. Okay, let's do the, the good meat. So this is a Salume Badu, Picante, sort of like a pepperoni. And we'll put that over here. We have a Salumi Badu pepperoni pizza restaurant. And you know what, it's such a crowd pleaser. I think I'm gonna put a little bit over here as well. Okay, we've got Copa ham, and this is a Volpi. And I like when I do these beautiful cured hams, I like to kind of crumple them up like a flower. Petals, really pretty. We've got some Fiamma sausage. So we'll just slice some of that up on the bias. Put that right there. Salome Madu makes my favorite, favorite sausages. The Fiamma is incredible. Okay, another little pile right here. All right, we've got this amazing, our pesto from Katie's, basil pesto. You can do all different types of pesto, but the basil one is classic, simple. Let's see, we'll put a little spoon in there. Got one right there. Our cannellini bean dip from Katie's as well. Hi, baby girl. Nadia's back. <laughs> okay, we've got our bean dip right there. I wanna add some, some vegetables, some color, and we're gonna do these beautiful cucumbers. So great to dip in any of these dips. So we'll put some of that right there. 
We've got some pretty heirloom carrots. Look at that carrot, look at that color. That is so pretty. Some of that over here. Okay, what else? We've got some Italian plums. We got in some prosciutto di Parma. And I like it when it just looks like little flower petals. More over here. Okay, so we'll do some Kalamata olives and you can do, I like them with pits, but it can be a little dangerous. So we've got pitted right there. Okay, we still have our gorgonzola cheese. I'm gonna do a pile over here by the figs. Maybe another one over here. There's some candied walnuts. Macadamia nuts. A little bit here. We've got our famous fig mostarda. This goes so well with meat and cheese. There. We need some brie. Do a little bit soppressata from Volpi. They make a great soppressata. Got a great local chuck comb honey from Bowling Green, Missouri. It's got the comb in there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some honey to some, some of our ingredients here, I think over the stracchino. And we're just going to kind of drizzle that on this side. We're going to add a little bit of our balsamic reduction. A little bit on these figs. We're gonna add some olive oil to our bean dip. And then I just kind of like to do like on some of the meats, some of the cheeses, and I just kind of oil everything. I think it's really pretty. We'll throw some chopped up pistachio over the top. Watercress. All right, so here we have it. It is our big, beautiful holiday cheese, meat, veg, dip, everything platter. And when you walk in, it's very eye-catching. It's very exciting. It'll get everyone's blood sugar to the right level for the party, and everyone will surround themselves around it. So just get really creative and enjoy.